Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to the video. Today, Tier Elements! A lot of people think that Tier Elements is gonna be like the little, little bro of Pote, but this deck, if built correctly, so, aka this exact list I'm gonna show you guys right now, could not just compete against Splight, but destroy Splight. Only if you buy a Splight playmat! Buy a Splight playmat to destroy Splight with Tier Elements! Available now at TripGaming.com, so make sure to go get yours right now. With that being said, I'm gonna show you guys right now the best deck profile, full guide of Tier Elements, but not just normal tier element, tier element branded. Let's go. So first things first, you're gonna want to max out on these tier elements. They are the. This is the main backbone of the deck. Yes, you're playing a secondary engine at Despia. However, this is the main aspect that you need and want. Only one Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart is not like as good as the other ones, and you don't want to have too many normal summons, especially because you're playing a Luber, and you just want to never brick. And sometimes you have too many of this; it's just kind of useless. And then you're also going to play four of the field spell. The reason why is that you really want to see these and the field spell is absolutely broken. And a combination of these with the Despia cards makes it so you can set up crazy boards and your opponent's cooked. Cooked into tomorrow. So that is the lineup that you're going to play. Also one instant fusion and only one trap. The traps are shit. They are stuck in your hand. They don't help you break boards. It's nice when you mill, but you only really need one. After that, you just want to have all cards that break boards that are responsible going second and help you going first and play through hand traps, which is not what many traps do. Next, this is the Despia Engine. You're going to play double a Luber, one Fallen of Albas, three Branded Opening, three Branded Fusion. So a combination of all of these, you could break, you have no idea how easy it is to break boards. They're all crazy power spells and they all synergize very well together to be able to break boards and do lots of damage to your opponent. Force interruptions, your opponent's going to imperm this, they're going to have to DD Crow, uh, random this, and then you just have three cards, you keep going. You're going to need quadruple hand traps to stop this at times, so to, it's just all gas, really powerful. Next, this engine, which is absolutely insane, and that is Fusion King of the Swamp Engine. The reason why this is so powerful is when you get this into the graveyard, you're able to search for a Fusion Substitute or a Polymerization, and it makes it now so you can make whatever you want with all of your two elements. So the combination of this... It's kind of like substituting, you're putting these over the Fluffle package, uh, the Fred Patrick package in Pure Despia, and it just makes it so you, it synergizes with not just a the whole Despia package, but it synergizes with the Tier Element package. So you're able to make it Kalos very easy, very simple, and you'll be able to do a lot of cool stuff, and that's what I want to show you later, and invoke Kaliga and Millenniumizer Strict, a lot of cool stuff to make unstoppable boards that your opponent will not be able to stop. What's up, guys? I did to stop the video for a massive, huge emergency. The emergency is that you did not buy your spy playmat yet. What are you doing? Look at this thing. Mwah. I love you. I love playing you. And I love destroying you when I duel against you. So get your spy playmats right here, right now, while you guys can. The last one sold out. This is the whole brand new wave of it. And for everyone who has already purchased their spy playmats, they are all shipped and ready to go. Beautiful. So get yours right now. Down description below. Prices will go up in one week. So if you're planning to get this mat, Get it right now. At some point next week, maybe after I win the Toronto Regional with it, the price will go up $10. So make sure to get yours now while you guys can still get it for the low price of $39.99. Literally the best artwork in the planet. I messed with my artist. I'm just like, dude, literally just make the best man in the history of mankind. He was like, say less. For the next 48 hours, for the next 48 hours, whoever purchases their play playmat will receive a special feed pick from Shrift Gaming. Whoever purchases a play playmat today, Right now, we'll be able to watch me drink some water. <laughs> what are you doing? You haven't bought a playmat yet. Why are you watching me drink water? This is only for people that you buy the playmat. So get your playmats now and let's get back into the video. Cheers. And drink your water, people. Also, on top, so this is all gas, bro. All these cards merit interruptions. So if your opponent is not interrupting one of them, they're going to have to interrupt the other one. Then they're going to have to interrupt the other one. They're just cooked. No hand traps required. You just break boards by the engine by itself. One should all beast to make it so you can make the Winda. And Winda is not even absolutely vital. You don't even care about the Winda. But it is nice when you could send. You don't really need more than that. I guess you could play maybe a second, maybe a Skumata. But it's fine. Winda is not the be-all, end-all. The be-all, end-all is Kaliga backed up with multiple interruptions. It's an unbreakable board. And with the, Shadal, with the trap card, you're going to be able to make Winda on their turn when you want to. Uh, next, uh, defensive cards are going second. Dark Ruler, Super Poly, absolutely incredible in this deck. Super Poly with the release of the new Fusion and Pote is amazing. 
and you super poly your own cards a lot. With Dark Roller, your opponent's cooked. And on top of that, you also play three Prosperity. Now, the extra deck is very important, okay? But the reason why you're playing Prosperity is more so of Dark Roller and Super Poly to break the board like it's nothing and not care about it. But at the same time, to be able to search you a free Branded Fusion, to search you a free Terralement. And a lot of times, you're only you're one of these off. Because all these cards are so powerful, Super Poly just gets one of them. And your extra deck is important, but you just Super Poly for three whenever you don't need to. When you absolutely need to open Dark Roller and Super Poly, you lose the duel. Okay, I'll banish six. But just be very mindful of it. Typically, just banish three. And the same reason why Sky Strikers also play this. They need to actually like badly, but sometimes they just do three. And there's one called by the grave. Uh, sometimes, obviously, if you're playing uh, the whole branded engine, it's very vital that you don't get ashed. So called by is nice in this deck. Uh, and that's it. All spells, all power spells, and your opponent's absolutely cooked. Unless you're playing my splite list card for card, then you will cook your opponent. But most of the time, you're going to win because the deck's insane. Now for the extra deck. Two Kit Kalos. Fusion sub is cool because sometimes you're going to need a third you can put back. Uh, one of uh, this one, Collateral Heart, also very cool. But obviously the best one's Kit Kalos. These are the ones you'll need here. Invoke Kaliga is the MVP of this extra deck. Absolutely vital. With plays with the King of the Swamp, your, your opponent's cooked. You just make King of the Swamp Alistair and your opponent loses on the spot. Especially when it's backed up by interruptions. This backed up with not being able to be targeted is almost a pseudo FTK. And you're still able to make stuff like this to stop your opponent. Draco Staley is a huge part of this extra deck. You make two many times. And th these are like the nice interruptions that help you out. And also for super poly targets, you have your Mud Dragon as well as the new fusion that came out in Pope. A lot of super poly as well. You're, well, there's also another super poly target of your opponent's board. And sometimes you just super poly your own board as well. And uh, it ends up being the best options. Lastly, we're going to be playing... This is a Despia package where you're going to make one Mirror Jade, one uh, Lubelion one alba latinez and one guardian chimera these are i would like to play double mirror jade but the extra deck is really tight and double like maybe an albion as well but this is fine this is literally enough to win the duel and there's going to be times where maybe I've, like duels don't get to turn four with this deck you either win on turn one or you win on the following turn it's very simple it's pendulum-esque it's pendulum without scales and fusions instead of pendulums so a bunch of monsters on board you don't really need care for the grind game too much but I, you would like another one but there's not much space and lastly, Time Thief Redoer. Uh, the only XYZ required for many reasons. People know why. It's a broken card. That is the deck, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The best way to play Tyralimit is Tyralimit Despia. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to get the beautiful Splite playmats. So for every Tyralimit player out there, the best way to flex on your opponent is you play on a, on a, on a beautiful Splite playmat. You're going to think you're playing Splite. And then you're like, oh, mirror match? No, baby, it's not a mirror match. I'm playing Tyralimit. And I'm going to destroy your splite deck. So get your playmats right now down in the description below. Don't forget to do the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.